The global economy over the past year or so has been growing more slowly than over the previous half decade or so. Now, that is a cause of concern and there's a lot of talk about recession fears. The global economy is growing at a slower pace, but it's not decelerating towards that slump. So I'm still reasonably optimistic that this is a soft patch rather than the beginnings of a global recession. Well, Ireland faces two really big short-term risks. One is a no-deal Brexit and the other is an escalation of the transatlantic trade war. We have a huge trading relationship with the United States. The US is our biggest single export market. If there is a transatlantic trade war of the kind that has broken out across the Pacific between the US and China, Ireland is in real trouble. The Irish government's policy responses to these shocks are actually very limited. Um, one aspect of that is how much gas is in the fiscal tank. The truth is that there is actually very little in the tank. Over five or six years of strong growth, the government didn't take the opportunity to bring its budget into a healthy surplus. Because it didn't have a surplus, it didn't pay down debt. So by most meaningful metrics, the Irish government is one of the most indebted in the world. That means that if we go into a crisis, there is not going to be the capacity to stimulate the economy with tax cuts and, sp and, and increased spending in any huge way. One of the things that I'm less worried than most people about is the whole robotics artificial intelligence piece. Huge amount of commentary around the destruction of jobs. Let's just look at the labor market data from around to the rich world where AI is most prevalent. There are more people working in virtually every single high income industrialized developed economy. For the, every industry that declines, you have other industries that are growing. We look across the tech sector. So what's the net effect? The net effect is that artificial intelligence, robotics, ultimately they create more wealth and opportunity than the negative impact. That shows up very strongly in the labor market data from across the entire rich world. There have never been more jobs out there.